Welcome back to MPWF Annihilation, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We kick off this second matchup of this eight-man tournament to crown a new MPWF Junior Heavyweight Championship. That is right. We are introducing a new championship to Annihilation. And oh my goodness, Ruffy Mighty McFly being taken out in the corner there. And you see how quick MXZ and White Boy Fresh were maneuvering themselves away from each other and it caught the referee. And now MXZ. Oh wow, nice chin breaker there by MXZ. That was very, rather innovative as MXZ now goes for the cover here. And you're at one, oh, just a straight one count. I mean, as we explained before, the break, MXZ and White Boy Fresh are typically tag team competitors. I mean, White Boy Fresh is currently one half of the World Tag Team Champions of the MPWF. And MXZ, I mean, he is challenging for those titles. Nice snap suplex there. Next week on MPWF Superstars. And again, make sure you tune into Superstars every Wednesday. Do not miss the action of MPWF Superstars. And a nice quick drop toe hold there by White Boy Fresh. When we said this matchup was going to be fast paced and lots of high impact action by both of these men as I, like we said there's a little bit of bad blood between them I mean last week collaboration zero lost to a white blue and, and white boy fresh and then on superstars blue lost to KJ Stevens thus giving them a shot at the tag team titles once again next week so I mean what a shot there by white boy fresh to MXZ and then runs into a hip toss so I mean, I mean the winner of this matchup again advances to the semi-finals and will face Reese Bobby next week on Annihilation and the winner of that will head to breaking point to challenge for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. And MXZ throwing White Boy Fresh into the turnbuckle and looking to set up for perhaps that clothesline we've seen him use in the past. And MXZ now connects there on White Boy Fresh. And again we have yet to find out who the other four men in this eight man tournament are and I cannot wait to see who else will be challenging for this Junior Heavyweight title. And now here's a net breaker there by MXZ knocking down White Boy Fresh. I mean, I've been told in my headset that General Manager Tiffany has another announcement that she wants to make later on tonight, and it's a huge one at that. And I mean, she already made the big announcement by announcing the Junior Heavyweight title match. And I mean, that's, wow, what a shot there by MXZ throwing White Boy Fresh into the steel steps. That is predominantly what the theme of this show is about. The Junior Heavyweight Championship is MXZ off the top rope there, connects with White Boy Fresh to the outside of the ring. And White Boy Fresh getting up. MXZ might have tweaked his knee on the way down. As White Boy Fresh now heads to the top rope. White Boy Fresh now with a huge snap. Breaking to the outside of the ring. Knocking down MXZ. I mean, so this is some of the cruiserweight action that used to happen on Annihilation. But without that cruiserweight title. I mean, what do we call it now? Junior heavyweight action? I have no idea. All I know is this fast paced, high intense action by these Annihilation competitors. And now what is this? White Boy Fresh has MXZ up here. And nice spin out suplex there by White Boy Fresh. As Fresh now go for the cover here. Here we go. One, two, and MXZ getting the shoulder up. And I mean, how about later tonight, the main event, the Avenger versus the Black Giant. But we've already seen Tyrone Fitzgerald get his nose in business that wasn't his by attacking the Black Giant as he tried to enter the arena tonight. And you know that Black Giant ain't going to be happy about that whatsoever. And we're being told that we're going to have an interview with the Black Giant later on tonight once he's been checked so he's medically cleared for the matchup. But I guarantee you medically cleared or not, the Black Giant will be out there to punish the Avenger and Cash Money Inc. And there's a nice net breaker there by MXZ. And MXZ now going for that submission move. As you see where he drives the knee into the spine of White Boy Fresh. But White Boy Fresh using his strength to throw MXZ over the top of him. And now throwing MXZ back into the ropes. And now White Boy Fresh, nice hip toss take over there on MXZ. And now Fresh has him up here. What's this? Fresh now. Nice fisherman suplex there. Shades of Mr. Perfect. One, two, three. Oh, MXZ getting the shoulder up. Or Val Venus. I mean, you can take that the way you see it. Have that the way you want it. MXZ with a reversal now. And now what's MXZ set here for? And now, oh, nice vertical suplex. Or a brain buster there by MXZ. Going for the cover. That could have finished White Boy Fresh. Two and three. Another near four. White Boy Fresh gets the shoulder up. What a matchup we're witnessing here on Annihilation. I mean, both these men really giving the fight to each other here tonight. As MXZ now has him back up again. And go right back for that same brain buster maneuver. MXZ now heading to the top rope. MXZ off the top with that fist drop again. And White Boy Fresh moving out the way. And that's twice that the fist drop has not got all the move that White, um, MXZ wanted it to. And now, oh, throw back take down there by White Boy Fresh. As White Boy Fresh now rebounding off the ropes. Nice shoulder block take down there, knocking down MXZ. And now MXZ going for a punch, missing it. White Boy Fresh kick to the gut. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the DVD. And the DVD connects there on MXZ. And now White Boy Fresh dragging him into the center of the ring. Smart move by WBF as he goes for the cover. One, two, 
three, and White Boy Fresh advances into the semi-finals of the Junior Heavyweight Championship Tournament. I mean, what a matchup between these two, and now White Boy Fresh will be going one-on-one -on -one with Reese Bobby next week in the semi-finals, and the winner of that matchup will head to MPWF Breaking Point to challenge for the MPWF Junior Heavyweight Championship. Who is going to be the first Junior Heavyweight Champion of the MPWF? I have no idea, but it could be either White Boy Fresh or Reese Bobby, as White Boy Fresh can be carrying double gold. But remember, he's going to have to defend those championships on Superstars next week. But oh, here we are backstage with the natural disasters, as they are in a strange room, which is uninhabited as of, yeah, of now, I guess. Whisper certainly liking it, saying it has a kick-ass feel to the building. I mean, I have no idea what these two are up to, what they're orchestrating here backstage in these videos we've been seeing as of late. And yeah, I'd like to know the name of their business and what exactly they're doing, seeing as they don't seem to ever be having matches here on Annihilation. But here as we go on to the next Junior Heavyweight Championship quarter final matchup. And here comes the ball and KJ Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. KJ Stevens riding off a huge victory last week on Superstars when he defeated Blue as we talked about in the previous matchup. To get his team a shot in the tag team titles next week. KJ Stevens' partner MXD was unsuccessful in defeating White Boy Fresh. Will we be seeing a rematch of Superstars right now? I'm not sure. But KJ Stevens making his way to the ring and has a big opportunity to win this matchup and head to the semi-finals next week to challenge the MPWF Junior Heavyweight Championship at Breaking Point. And again, that's what we're going to keep talking about tonight because that is the main theme of this week's Annihilation. Who is going to be crowned the new Junior Heavyweight Champion? And oh, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be quite the contest. We're going to see, I mean, you talked about um, fast, high intense action in the last match. Expect to see a lot of high-flying lucha action in this matchup between El Mosco and KJ Stevens. I mean, El Mosco certainly has something to prove here tonight. El Mosco lost a bit rather abruptly last week against Sean Stevens. It was quite embarrassing for El Mosco Luchaderes, but he wants to try and recover from that tonight and defeat KJ Stevens. I mean, KJ Stevens, the man who's riding off of a high, riding off a of victory. This is the perfect person for El Mosco to defeat. I mean, this is a clean slate for El Mosco Luchaderes. If he can win tonight, I mean, in advance to the next week's semi-final matchup, I mean, perhaps he could end this losing streak and go on to become the junior heavyweight champion. I mean, a lot of opportunities here in the MPWF. The question is, can you take advantage of one? El Mosco has an opportunity right now. Let's see if he can do it. And here we go, both men sizing each other up, and KJ Stevens go right to action with a spinning DDT there on El Mosco Luchaderes. Even referee Mighty McFly, look at the look on his face. He's quite shocked by that move. A nice hurricane runner there by KJ Stevens. I mean, KJ Stevens loves to turn up a not much when he's in the ring. I mean, he loves just to turn up that speed. And again, there's that quick hurricane runner. That quick athleticism there by the fallen KJ Stevens. Was a gymnast in his very early days of his life. And now KJ Stevens finds himself as a competitor here in the MPWF. Has yet to win any championship gold here on YouTube. And, oh, wow. Knocking El Mosco right off the apron. KJ Stevens now going high risk. KJ Stevens. Oh, wow. Diving knee to the outside of the ring. May have broken a rib of El Mosco there. And the fans here definitely on the side of KJ Stevens here in Nashville, Tennessee. And oh, what a reversal there by El Mosco Luchaderes. Showing his speed. And now what is El Mosco setting up for here? El Mosco heading back to the outside of the ring as KJ gets back up. And now look at this. Wow, whirly twirly there by El Mosco. And look at that driving KJ Stevens head first there on the concrete. You see there's no mat there. I mean, there was no protection. KJ Stevens certainly feeling that. KJ Stevens now heading towards the apron. Now, El Mosco kicking away at him. Doesn't want KJ to get back inside the ring. Not quite sure what the game plan of El Mosco is. But springboard hit. Wow, what a move there. What was that? Well, that was a springboard. Phoenix Star Splash. Nice, nice kick move there by El Mosco. El Mosco now bringing something out of him that I haven't seen in a while. That was high impact, high intense there by El Mosco Luchaderes. And I'll go for the Russian leg sweep. And El Mosco is fired up here tonight on Annihilation. As he now goes for the cover. And I mean, clearly in front of the referee. Referee Mindy McFly can easily see that. Not quite sure what the game plan, what the 
what the whole point of that was by El Mosco. Oh, high elevated elbow there by El Mosco. Luchaderas on KJ Stevens. And now, oh, huge kick to the gut there. And now what's he setting up for? Sunset flip power bomb into a pinfall. Going for the cover here. One, two, three. No, KJ Stevens getting the shoulder up. I mean, KJ really suffering the effects of landing head first on the concrete floor by El Mosco. Has no, oh, nice. Arm drag takedown there by El Mosco Luchaderas. And anyway, KJ Stevens trying to fight back out of this situation. And right back to that spinning DDT again. And now he's trying to concuss El Mosco. It's KJ now on the top rope. Uh, KJ Stevens here. Oh, wow. Connects with the knees there on El Mosco Luchaderas. And again, heading back to the top rope as El Mosco is up again. And this time right on the shoulders, there's KJ Stevens. I mean, this crowd definitely hot for this action here. As now going for the cover. One, two, three. Oh, El Mosco getting the shoulder up. Just shooting that shoulder up. As now KJ Stevens springboard. Oh, what a kick to the face. Springboard back kick there by KJ Stevens. And now El Mosco, oh, I think he got fingers to the eyes there. Couldn't quite see him. Referee Money McFly was in the way. And now springboard cross body by El Mosco Luchaderas this time. And El Mosco going for the cover here, trying to finish this one quickly. One, two, and El KJ getting the shoulder up. I mean, that's not bad strategy by El Mosco trying to end this one quickly. I mean, El Mosco is a former Cruiserweight champion here on YouTube. Defeated Sean Stevens for that title, in fact. And now, setting him up by on the top rope. I'm not sure what he's looking for here. Now here he is, springboard. Oh, wow, no, KJ Stevens blocking that, saying not tonight. And now KJ Stevens go for that. No! Go for a senton. El Mosco blocking that one. Go for the cover. He could have hurt his tailbone really badly off the landing from that. And oh, KJ Stevens still able to kick out though. I mean, these guys are having a vicious matchup here in Annihilation. Really giving the fight to each other. And there's a hurricane run. A takedown there by El Mosco. Luchaderas. And now what's El Mosco setting up for here? No, KJ Stevens with the reversal. Clummy blow to the back. And now oh, kick to the face there. Knocking El Mosco inside out. And now going around the waist. Now what's KJ setting up for here? Back for that whirly twirly. And now, wow. KJ Stevens returning the favor to El Mosco in this matchup. And KJ now throwing El Mosco into the turnbuckle here. And now what's he setting up for on the top rope? And now, wow, look at the vertical leap there of KJ Stevens with that hurricane runner taking down El Mosco Luchaderas. Go for the cover. And I think that's it. One, two, three. And KJ Stevens wins, but no El Mosco gets the shoulder up. As now KJ heading to the top rope, and what a boot to the knee there. And now, oh, and Mosco again, and look at this. Look at these two men taking the fight to each other here tonight on Annihilation. Go for the cover, one, two, and three. No, KJ Stevens gets the shoulder up this time. What a matchup we are watching here. And now, oh, what a kick to the back of the leg. KJ Stevens now. And again, back for those spinning moves. I mean, I don't, I don't understand how these men don't get dizzy from those moves. These guys knocking each other willy-nilly. I mean, back to next, to last week. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going with that. But KJ Stevens now, back in control with El Mosco. I mean, I'm talking so fast because the action's so fast. And oh, KJ Stevens slowing things right down with that move. That hot shot. Reverse hot shot at that. As now KJ Stevens, what's he setting up for here? As he's on the rope there. Springboard. Hurricane runner to the inside of the ring. And what a move there. And you see the awkward landing for... KJ for El Mosco Luchadera, sorry. And now KJ Stevens has him up here. Wow, what a move that is. What is that move? I mean, we saw KJ Stevens do that on Superstars. That was a great move there. And there's a shoot and stop press. Beautifully applied there by KJ Stevens. Shades of Paul London as he now goes for the cover here. Not Evan Bourne. That's the Paul London shoot and stop press. One, two, three. And KJ Stevens advances to next week's semifinal. I mean, these guys certainly took the fight to each other here tonight on MPWF Annihilation. What a matchup between these two. I mean, this action for this Junior Heavyweight Championship gets, I mean, gets more intense as each match goes on. But, I mean, we have one more quarterfinal matchup tonight to find out who will advance to the semifinals next week. We know that White Boy Fresh will face Reese Bobby. Who will face KJ Stevens? Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading for a break. When we return, this amazing edition of Annihilation will continue. Stay tuned. And remember, our main event tonight is the Avenger versus the Black Giant.